Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. It's that time of year again, and I love this time of year. So the fall season, the autumnal season, and of course coming into Halloween, which we've had, we've enjoyed. Here in the UK, of course, uh, Guy Fawkes Night, uh, so Bonfire Night, to a lot of people who will know that around the world. And of course, not many people here uh, celebrate that in the UK, but Thanksgiving. And then, of course, I always find that is sort of a gateway to the Christmas season, which I absolutely love and adore. Now, Thanksgiving, as I just mentioned, and not a lot of people uh, even recognise that here in the UK, of course. Um, it's something I have always absolutely loved and adored. Um, and the essence behind it, of course, of giving thanks for what we have. And uh, I just think that, OK, it, it doesn't need to be one particular day where we tell somebody how grateful we are for them or or we really give thanks for the situation we're in and whether that be coming around a table with family or whether that be doing something extra special with family friends loved ones and um yeah i've always loved it so it's a tradition which i actually started must be coming up to around about 12 years ago now because it's not something which my parents or anything used to do but um it was a very hectic time and there was different problems going on health wise and one thing or another and I got through that at the time. Um, and it was me dealing with hearing loss and vertigo and one thing or another. And uh, unfortunately, uh, and I don't want to put this on a dampener note at all, but I've never really been blessed with the best of health growing up. And then into my 20s, again, I didn't really enjoy the best of health, unfortunately, for a different reason. But I'm fine now and it's never defined me. Um, and if anything, it spurred me on more and it's made me more determined. And that would be my message to anybody who's going through something which at first you think is going to hold you back. It will only hold you back if you let it to. There is always a way around it. Now, of course, I know that's not going to be exact for everybody, but majority of the time, there's support around you, there's love around you, and you can find it within. For me, faith is huge in my life. It's my guiding path in life, and it really gets me through. So with all of that combined together, I've got a lot to give thanks for. Um, when I think how life has changed in recent years. So I've lost my dear Nan, who is absolutely everything to me. I realise that, do you know what, for the, the first, and it's and it's still very, very early days. It's, it's just over two years, just over two years, and coming up to two and a half years. And some days I fall to pieces. I can just cry and cry and cry. And other days I'm so overwhelmed with appreciation and love always for my nan's life and to think that actually she's up above with the lord she's watching over me she's guiding me always and for all eternity she's always going to be my nan and she's always with me she's with me through everything i do she spurs me on through different difficult situations and i can sometimes hear our words and from the different things she used to say to me um so she's always with me and sometimes it's not always as easy as that but of course, I give thanks to my nan's amazing life and the stamp she's left on my heart and in my life. I give thanks for my amazing mum and my dad, and my incredible family, my nieces, my nephew. And yeah, life is good. I've had my ups and downs like we all have. But you know what? There is always a way forward. There's always a way forward. And sometimes we don't like what life deals us. I absolutely get that. And sometimes it can be really, really cruel to, to people. And sadly, we live in a fallen world. So I always think that we should be considerate of everybody, whoever we meet, whatever time of the day, whatever day of the week it is. We should always take a moment to, we should never presume, we should never judge. We should always try to see the positive uh, the good in a person, we should never ever judge, we should always be respectful, we should always keep our views separate from what's actually going on in that situation, and we must always think that everybody's going through something, we must be respectful always, and we must think that actually sometimes if something's out of character for some for somebody, they don't mean it, they're going through something, and I know that doesn't make it excusable if somebody's rude to you or hurtful to you, not at all, but I always think that we should try to work together, we should support one another, we should we should try to find the inner peace in everything, if there's an argument we should, or a disagreement, we should always try to agree to disagree, it should never come between two people um, if the difference of a view arises, it shouldn't it shouldn't cause an issue between people. It shouldn't cause hatred. It shouldn't cause conflict. It 
in a way should spur us on that we're a collection of people on this planet with different views, different opinions, different characters, but together we're a strong cohort. And um, if only life worked that way and if only it was simple as that, and sadly it's not, and I appreciate that. So I always try to do my best in this world. I always try to 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 add to this world and do good. And I love charities and uh, I, I try to I give as much as I can to charities and I've done different elements of charity work uh, several years ago now. Um, and I love that. I absolutely love that. And I always try to add to this and, and just make my part of my world a little bit more uh, better and extra special. And as I say, I'm blessed with so many wonderful things in this life. And I give thanks to so many incredible things which I have. Um, and of course, Thanksgiving, yes, of course, it's for Americans. I understand that. And I understand in Canada as well. And of course, if we have relations in America, and of course, right from the UK, um, I understand all of that. Absolutely, I do. But I love the essence behind it. And I seen, I mean, years ago when I was, it just sprung on me that there were so many people saying, what are you giving thanks for? And even this year, I've seen that. What are you giving thanks for? And I love the fact that, yes, we should be appreciative and we should be thankful every single day. To me, I'm thankful for the Lord above and for everything which he's brought in my life. I'm thankful for my parents as I say, my nan, my brothers, nieces, nephews, all of my incredible life. Um, but I love the fact that we take a day out of that. So what I do, I get... So I get my family together if I can, and I know some of my brothers can't, and, so, and my family don't, but I always make a point, I always make a, a stamped uh, sort of arrangement that on Thanksgiving, what would be, of course, in the States and around the world, that in my family home, that I prepare, a, a, I'm going to say beautiful dinner. Um, I'm, quite a, I'm quite a good cook, I have to uh, admit, my mum and my nan taught me, so I shall be laying on that tomorrow, and I shall be, um, hopefully, with my, uh, with my loved ones. And, um, and it's always strange around this time of year because there always seems to be concerns and things in the family and somebody's got something going on. And in my family, we all sort it out together. We've always got a difference of opinions, but we sort it out together. We talk to one another. And I know if I haven't talked to one of my three brothers for a little while, there's something going on with them. So I need to then get out there and try and talk to them and help them through whatever may be an issue. And I have a very close bond with them. Um, my nan, always exactly the same. Um, we always talked through absolutely everything, and she was, and still is, a very big part of my life. My parents, I have incredible bonds with them. They're very, very dear friends to me, as well as my parents. And we talk and we work things through. Um, and as I say, I'm, I'm truly, truly blessed. Um, so that's what I do. So tomorrow I'll be doing that. Now, if some of my family can't be there, and some don't because they've got busy lives as well, I appreciate that. But I think it's really important that not just because it's this time of year, but just, do you know what I mean? Everybody in recent years, especially since COVID, has had really difficult times here in the UK and I know in the Western world that we have a cost of living crisis, that things are only ever getting more expensive. Life is not necessarily easy for a lot of people. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of hardship in this world. As I say, we live in a fallen world. Every time you turn the TV on, there is something horrific going on in this world. And I just think that sometimes if we took the time to just rather than wish we had this or, or wish we were in a certain situation or wish we could click our fingers and something would be gone, I just wish sometimes that all of us in life would take a moment to think that actually what I have right now, okay, it's what I have. And if I want to be successful and if I want to get there, you will. You don't have to rush to it. You certainly don't have to bear malice against somebody. You don't have to be aggressive about something. You can you can share your view without being disrespectful or aggressive. In this world, we can. It's okay to have differences of opinions, but what it's not okay is to then cause conflict and to cause issue, to discriminate people. I mean, goodness, we're in 2023, but yet there are still discrimination going on between men and women. And whatever that person um, describes or stands up and what they want to be and what they want themselves to be known as, that should be absolutely fine. In my heart, God loves us for who we are. He created us. We are his image. And I know for somebody who's not of faith, then that's okay. Because remember, as I always say on my channel, you're a blessing. There is only one of you. But yet all of these things go on in this world. And actually, if we think about it, whoever we are, we, number one, always got something to be thankful for. Number two, there's only one of us. And number three, even if you've got nothing in this world, you've still got something to, to give. And somebody might think, well, what on earth have you got? Your time, 
your patience, your understanding. Okay, so whenever you feel you've got nothing to give, even if you're in your darkest time and you're really, really struggling, whether it be relationship, whether it be financial, career, a whole host of different things, there's always something you can do. There's always something somebody could possibly do for you. It could be just taking the time to understand, to support, even just a simple question of, are you okay? That genuine connection of active listening, respect and mutual understanding of wanting to be in that moment, that conversation there and then and saying, are you okay? I don't mean the simple in the morning passing, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I don't mean that. I mean, breaking it down, giving that person it doesn't even have to be somebody who you know. If somebody doesn't look quite right, if somebody looks untoward or somebody looks upset, are you okay? It could start something quite incredible. And you know, I've been in that scenario and it has happened. And I've helped people. I've supported people. There are elements where people think it's all too much. But do you know what? And my brothers get frustrated with me because I believe in adding to this world. And I believe that if we put good into this world, it makes its way and it finds its way back to us. I don't know if you agree, but I really hope you do. And on this Thanksgiving time, let's take a moment and be thankful for what we have. And sometimes if we do that, do you know what? Sometimes even if we think that we want to be here, we want to be there, let's stop and reflect in where the situation we're in right now. And actually, sometimes we're blessed with incredible things right now and we don't even realise it. Thanksgiving is an incredible time to be able to reflect and to be able to think about how the year has been so far. And for a lot of people, it's been a real troublesome one, a difficult one. But of course, there's high moments, there's fantastic moments. And of course, Thanksgiving for a lot of people, and certainly to me, is the gateway, of course, to the Black Friday celebration, sort of in terms of shopping and deals in that kind of opening the gates, the Christmas season, the festive season, the back end of the year, where we can start to relax, we can start to have a bit more fun, we can start to have a little bit more merriment, we can start to kind of give a little bit more and, and make things a little bit more special and give our time and give our understanding and make this world a little bit more special. Thanksgiving, an incredible time and whatever you think about it, and it may just be a note in your diary, but please take a moment. And what are you thankful for? God bless and take great care. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.